I was living in my car. I had no money, showered at the Y, with everything that could possibly go wrong, just go wrong. But I knew that within me was such power and greatness that I could not deny. No circumstance and disappointment could stop me from unleashing the secret hero inside me. And I did. This program will help you realize who you truly are and release the greatest value to the world. I am Steph Kars, and this is The Secret Hero. Finding your purpose is linked to what's important to you in life. And it can be a very frustrating task because we have so many options out there. And today with social media, we tend to compare ourselves to others in order to fit in. Remember, now you know how you are awesomely made and how unique you are. So comparing yourself to others to try to fit in should not be part of your plan or your thoughts, simply because you are unique. There's something unique about you, something that only you can do in order to find clarity in the direction you want your life to be. In order to do that, you have to at least establish three points. First, what you really want in your life, what matters the most to you. Once that's clear, then you can start looking for the things that you would like to have in your life. The cool stuff, you know, uh, the thing that are maybe not that important, but it certainly would be cool to have these things. And thirdly, think about the things you wish not to have in your life. Things you can go without. Sometimes the list gets easier for that. So now grab something to ride with and let's get started. Okay, if you're ready, I can help you with some suggestions, but, but it really, really has to come from you in order to work because it is for you to figure out what are the most important things to you, right? All right, so let's pick four of the most important things you would like to have in your life. The things, let's say, you could not live without. The things that are so important for you that no matter what happens in your life, if you have those things, you would be okay. So these are my suggestions. It could be family, real friends, fun vacations, love. The list depends on what really, really triggers some kind of really good emotions in you. So now let's pick the four things that you would like to have in your life. Things that may not be the most important thing, but there are things that really would be really cool and you certainly would enjoy to have them. Again, I'll give you some ideas but it has to come from you. It could be a hobby, could be lots of money, video games, could be feeling respected, it could be good health. So now let's pick four things that you would not want to have in your life. Things that you certainly can go without. That one's easy for me. I don't know about you, but for me the top things would be betrayed by a best friend, fighting because who likes to fight, right? Or being sick, bullied, or not respected. So the list can go on, so it has to come from you. Once you know these things, we're ready to play the game. First things you need, two small jars, and they have to be identical. Then you will need four big rocks, about maybe the size of your fist. A small amount of pebbles, small rocks, and about a cup of sand. Now, if you don't have these things, try to be creative. Maybe you could use apples to replace the rocks or beans to replace the pebbles or even sugar to replace the sand. Now you can pause the video and come back when you're ready. The four rocks are representing the four things that are the most important to you. The pebbles are representing the things you would like to get in your life, the cool stuff, right? And the sand, is the not so fun stuff. Let's say that this jar is representing your life. So you're gonna first fill your jar, your life, with the things we talked about. The four rocks that are representing the most important things in your life. Let's say we talked about family, real friends, fun vacations, and love. Now can you fit another big rock? I don't think so. It's pretty full, you'd say, right? But I think there is place for some pebbles because the pebbles are representing the cool stuff, right? The stuff you'd like to have. So let's start putting the pebbles in it. The hobby, money, video games, 
feeling respected. Now you could say that your jar is pretty full. Can't insert more pebbles. But since sometimes in life bad stuff happens, there's always, always a place for bad stuff. So you start pouring the sand that is representing the things you wish not to have in life. That's right. You may have some of the stuff that is not so cool, but as long as you have the most important things in your life, plus the cool stuff, then you can deal with the stuff that is not so cool. Now let's change this by changing your focus. Let's see what happens if you start filling your jar first with the things you don't wish to have in your life. For example, one morning you arrive in school and find out that your best friend has spread rumors about you, telling lies, and now you get picked on and you get in a fight. What happens next? Well, when our best friend is spreading rumors and lies about us, it doesn't feel good. Emotionally, it's hard to deal with. And all you can think about is how hurt you are and how bad you feel. So you start filling your jar with the sand because your thoughts are really affecting you and you can't seem to get away from them. Now you feel even worse because that's all you can think about. So to start feeling better, you decide to add some pebbles, some of the cool stuff to your jar, the things you would like to get because you want to be popular again. You want people in school to respect you. But after a while, you realize that you need something more. Something is missing. So you start thinking about the things you really, really want. The things that matters the most. And you start putting the big rocks in the jar. But you notice that they don't all fit anymore. You see, this is really what happens when you start thinking about the things that you don't want in your life. When you start thinking about the hurtful things, you lose your focus and before too late you realize you wasted a lot of time. The one thing no one can take away from you is your power to decide. Because your decisions are yours, they are for you to make. You have the power to say, no, I will not do that or yes, I will do that. And no matter what others are saying or are trying to intimidate or hurt you, no one can decide for you. And no one can control your thoughts. That belongs to you. When I was a kid and I was bullied in school, I always thought to myself, one day they'll see how successful I will be. And that was the decision I made and it got me to where I am today. We all have the same amount of time each day. Everyone has 24 hours a day seven days a week. So the question is, what will you decide to fill your time with? That's why it's important that you decide right now what are the most important things for you. Because when things don't go so well, when things don't go your way, you have a choice to focus on the things you really want the most. And if you do that, it doesn't take long for you to delete from your thoughts all that bad stuff. On the next episode, I will give you some clues on how to win this type of battle.